All right, this uh, this video is a, uh, a let's play for a class uh, I have to take in college. Um, so if you're of the normal subscriber base, um, just ignore it. Unless of course you want to watch it and you want to watch me kick this guy's ass in the rock paper scissors toss in the front. That's pretty cool. Um, I like his really like that guy's gamer picture. But anyway, you're playing um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels, I think it's called, on the Xbox 360 arcade. Um, oh, oh, that hand! Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, this is actually, like, perfect. Um, provided nothing goes wrong right now. Uh, I'm using a Slife of the Sky Dragon deck, uh, the one I put together. I have all the cards, so I just put a, put a deck together, and the focus is to try and get, uh, Slife of the Sky Dragon, which would be just fantastic if I could. Um, I want to keep turn to Tribute, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be, I think I'll have him next turn, which is fantastic. Um, for anyone that may not know, Slife of the Sky Dragon is one of the three god cards. Um, requires three tributes in order to summon it. Every card you have in your hand is an extra thousand attack that it gets, uh, which is pretty sweet. So, um, okay, and this guy just doesn't want to attack. So that's basically a free Slifer right here. This is going to be really good. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Two three and slide for the sky dragon okay so right there he's got 3,000 attack because uh, I have three cards in my hand it's gonna drop down to two but that's actually okay um, because he also has an auxiliary effect where um, any monster that gets summoned after this loses 2,000 attack and if its attack is brought down to uh, no I don't want to act in if its attack is brought down to zero uh, it gets destroyed so he's actually pretty safe with 2,000 attack um, which is great. Um, infinite cards lets me have an unlimited amount of cards in my hand, whereas I think the limit is six. I think, maybe seven, not entirely sure. But, and I'm glad I have a Dark Bribe too, because if he has something that can counter Slifer, um, I'm able to just stop it. So, hopefully we'll be able to keep this under five minutes. That was sort of a perfect draw. Alright, and that thing's gonna lose 2,000, right? Yep, and it gets destroyed. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful! Beautiful! Slifer, I think it's my favorite god card, like by far. His design just looks so cool. See, that's the one way to circumvent his effect, is by setting a monster as opposed to uh, summoning it. Alright, Jar of Greed, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna set that down, because that's still a plus one next turn. On my hand. Um, and if this does go over five minutes, I'll just put some, like, cuts in or something like that keep it around that five, five and a half minute mark, but I don't anticipate it going that high. Okay, that doesn't actually matter that I got destroyed. <sighs> um, basically, I guess I know I'm going to win when I have, when I see a guy who has a 60 card deck, um, because that's just stupid. Like, there's no reason you should ever have to have a 60 card deck, you're just sort of hindering yourself uh, by doing that. And... Now my jar of greed goes. Perfect. So I can actually flip their monster's face up before I destroy him now with swords, just to be sure it's not like a man eater bug or something like that that can see that's gonna get destroyed. I don't know why he does that. And that just opens him up now for another wide open it oh he's got something to counter it. Oh it didn't okay. Never mind, it didn't go down to Oh, that sucks. Sort of. I mean, for him. <laughs> Not for me, I'm in a good position right now. And that's just gonna steadily climb. I might actually set that mystical space typhoon just to get rid of it. Um... No, nope, oh, apparently I'm not. I guess I went to end phase. Huh. I'm really glad I didn't like come up against someone that has like some stupid meta, super meta archetype or something like that because those are just ridiculous. You get a lot of that in this game playing at multiplayer. There's a lot of people that just <laughs> anything for a win in a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, I guess. Me, I like to put stuff together, um, like um, what do you call it? I like to put like weird like custom themed types of decks together because uh, I, I have self-respect um, 
and I'm just not going to use an overpowered archetype. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my feelings on the matter. You'll notice I don't have any like synchro cards or Xyz cards again because they have self-respect. Um, so yeah, ah, oh, he's going to do this now. He's just going to keep placing the stuff face down, and that's going to really irritate me. Oh, or he's going to quit. That works. Um, that's actually really anticlimactic, but it's okay. I guess that was sort of like a demo into the into the game or into the, the stuff you can do with it. But that has been the uh, IAM Game Culture Let's Play video. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.